Hi, uh, my name is Scribe Music. I am an independent artist uh, currently based in Winnipeg uh, for now. And I'm here at Inner City Youth Alive for the story time. <laughs> um, yeah, music, it wasn't actually something that I always wanted to do. I actually was a soccer player for the most for most of my life. That was my passion. I pursued it heavily, played it at a university level. And it was one of those things that I lost myself in in a lot of ways. Um, soccer, as an athlete, it is a very individualistic experience, as a lot of people know. It's all about how I am on the field. And, and when you get to the professional levels, you start getting paid for things. And so it really becomes your job. Um, and so it's something that once started as a passion becomes something that stresses you out daily. And for me, um, you know, when it took me to university, uh, that was when I kind of lost myself in all of it. And, you know, my life became heavily consumed with trying to impress those around me um, off the field. And it led to me, you know, neglecting my responsibilities as, you know, first and foremost, as a, as a man, as a, um, a member of society, but also as, as a teammate. And it's one of those things I can honestly say, um, if it weren't for music, um, I don't know the kind of person I would be right now. I, I have an idea and I'm kind of glad that I ended up switching routes. Um, when I got injured, and that in, in soccer at the level I was at, immediately your opportunities start getting taken away. And and also the the, the aura that was once around your ability starts to, starts to fade and people no longer really care. And so it was in that time that that uh, music first showed itself as poetry. I never wanted to be a rapper. Let's get that straight. I never wanted to be a rapper. Um but poetry was always something I loved. I remember writing a poetry anthology in elementary school and I got 100% on it, which at the time I didn't realize was a big deal. Um, I thought everyone did, but uh, I did really, really well on it um, to the point where some of my poems um, had my teachers worried about me because they were so real. And so here I am at 18 years old um, writing down the real of, of where I was at, how I was feeling um, in poetry. And I shared it with some people and they said, man, this is, this is great. You should, you should try and rap. And I was like, no, 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 that's, that's too cliche. I don't want to be, I don't want to be just another rapper. Um, they're like, no, seriously, try it. And so I did. I, I went online and I went to www.shadowville.com. Shout out to Shadowville. Um, and it was back when a lot of their beats were free and I downloaded a couple of beats. I think the first one was called Dark Sunday or something crazy. <laughs> and um, I downloaded the beat and I decided to to just rap over it. I mean, I, I grew up in music, so I had basic rhythm. Um, didn't really know what it meant to be a rapper, but I could emulate. And so I did this this track and showed some of my friends and they're like, man, this is this is it. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. And they're like, no, seriously, man. Like, I think you could you could really do this. Um, and so the music naturally just became my outlet. I just started pouring out all my emotions, all of my feelings, all of my struggles, all of my successes, even even things that, um, you know, even ambitions for the future, things I wanted to do. And, and you know, as a kid, they they are a young adult. They sometimes you're your desires are very carnal, you know, they're very inward focused, just what things for me and goals and ambitions. But I started seeing that my music, um, because it was positive, was starting to really affect other people. And they were getting really encouraged by my music. And it, and it made me think to myself, wait a minute, I could be, I could be a positive rapper. I could do something different than what everybody else is doing. Um, not just music about partying and, and, you know, being selfish and gaining all these material things and, and all that sort of stuff, I could really just inspire the average person to to maybe be better. I don't know. And but coming from a coming from it in a real way, not like I thought I was better than everyone, but admitting my own shortcomings and my own struggles. And so I just yeah, I picked it up and I ran with it. And since then, uh, we're, we're working on 10 years since I first recorded my first ever song. Um, 
and four years since I dropped my first album and decided to take it seriously. And since then, like, you know, I've, I've been nominated for some awards. Um, I've won a couple. Um, and But all that to be said, the amount of lives that I've got to reach with just my story has been unbelievable like it's been it's been insane and I never would have thought that some adopted kid from Jamaica would now be going across Canada just sharing my story and so you know for anyone watching this video I just want to encourage you share your story because I don't do anything special I just I just tried to learn to be honest with my myself and then it's ultimately allowed me to be honest with everybody else and and as I've done that I've started to realize I'm not the only one who's gone through these things. I'm not the only one who's got struggles and challenges, but I'm also not the only dreamer out there. Um, so if you're a dreamer, um, you know, and, and the arts world encourages you, I want to, I seek only to inspire you to, to make that shift from being a dreamer to a visionary, which just means really challenge your dreams and see what it is going to take to make those, con those things come to fruition and be okay with the journey. You know, my route, was my route you're gonna you know people people are gonna find success in their own way and and to you know measure your success up to someone else doesn't make sense because my life is mine and yours is yours and it's and they're both beautiful as they are tragic at times but i think the common ground of storytelling and art is something we're seeing more and more and more and it's really what's going to change our communities and change you know ultimately to change our world so yeah, thanks for watching. I am Scribe Music. You can find all my music online as Scribe Music. I'm the guy who looks like me. So thank you guys so much.